Have you ever wondered about scams on Facebook? Do they really exist and how common are they? In the vast landscape of social media, Facebook stands out as a hub for connection and communication, but lurking beneath the surface are numerous threats, with Facebook scams being among the most prevalent. These scams are not just random clumsy attempts at deception, they are meticulously planned and executed, designed to be as convincing and unnoticeable as possible. There's a wide array of scams to be wary of, from fake medical fundraisers exploiting your empathy, to clickbait scams pulling at your curiosity, and even fraudsters in the Facebook marketplace looking to snatch your hard-earned money. The impact of these scams can be severe, draining your bank account, stealing your identity, or compromising your personal safety. Beware, Facebook scams are real sophisticated and can have serious implications. But do not worry, we will guide you on how to avoid falling victim to them. The first type of scam we will discuss is the fake medical fundraiser scam. This involves scammers exploiting the empathy of others by pretending to be individuals in dire need of medical help. They might pose as someone diagnosed with a severe illness or recovering from a tragic accident, pleading for financial assistance to cover medical expenses. In the age of COVID-19, some fraudsters have even claimed to be stranded or infected by the virus, asking for monetary support. They create emotionally charged appeals for donations, often through third-party platforms like GoFundMe, Venmo, or Cash App. These pleas can be alarmingly convincing, made from duplicate Facebook accounts complete with real photos and stolen information. However, once money changes hands, these accounts vanish without a trace. And remember, funds transferred via third-party apps are rarely protected against fraud. Hence, always verify the source before making any donations online to avoid falling for such scams. Next on the list of scams on Facebook is the infamous clickbait scam. This is a modern-day trap where fraudsters create posts designed to elicit strong emotional reactions. These posts may offer a seductive sale or promotion on products if you like, comment, and share. Or they may use heartwarming images or faux activism posts to get you to share as often as possible. But here's the catch. The associated links could potentially put malware on your computer or require personal information, sometimes even your credit card or social security numbers, to claim a prize. This is a clever strategy used by scammers to steal your identity or compromise your online security. So how can you avoid falling into this trap? Always be cautious of posts that trigger strong emotional reactions and require extensive sharing or personal information. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Imagine buying an item from Facebook Marketplace only to realize you've been scammed. Yes, that's our next type, Facebook Marketplace Scams. With over a billion users buying and selling goods on this platform every month, it's no surprise that fraudsters also see it as a fertile ground for their schemes. These scams can take many forms. Some may ask you to pay or communicate outside of Facebook, a major red flag. Others might list phony rentals, giveaways, or other products that don't exist or aren't as described. So how can you spot these scams? First, always be wary of deals that seem too good to be true. If a price is significantly lower than what you'd expect, it's likely a scam. Also, sellers who insist on communicating or transacting outside of Facebook Marketplace are likely not legitimate. Always remember to transact within Facebook Marketplace and be wary of deals that seem too good to be true. Now that you know about the various types of scams on Facebook, it's time to learn how to protect yourself. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide to keep you safe from the dark side of this social platform. First off, never, and I mean never, click on any suspicious links. These can be messages from unknown senders, posts that seem too good to be true, or emails that appear to be from Facebook itself. These links can lead you to phishing websites designed to steal your personal information or install malware on your device. Next, make it a regular routine to review your account's privacy settings. As Facebook updates its platform, new privacy settings may be added. Make sure you understand what information you're sharing and who can see it. You have the power to control your digital footprint on Facebook, so use it wisely. Thirdly, a strong and unique password is your first line of defense. It's tempting to use your pet's name or your birthday, but these are often the first guesses for hackers. Mix it up with upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And remember, don't use the same password across all your online accounts. Finally, set up two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification. 
like a text message or an email confirmation, in addition to your password. This way, even if someone does get your password, they won't be able to access your account without the second verification. Remember, scammers are clever and constantly evolving their tactics. Stay alert and be skeptical of anything that seems off. And if you ever have doubts, it's better to be safe than sorry. Reach out to Facebook's support team or do a quick online search to verify the information. By following these steps, you can enjoy your time on Facebook without falling victim to scams. To wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Facebook, while a wonderful platform for connection, can also be a playground for scammers. Fake medical fundraisers exploit our sympathy, compelling us to donate to heartbreaking causes that unfortunately are often fictitious. Clickbait scams manipulate our emotions and curiosity, leading us to malicious links and potential information theft. Facebook Marketplace, despite its convenience, can be a breeding ground for deceit with phony listings and transactions. To protect ourselves, we need to be vigilant. Be wary of suspicious links, especially those that come from unfamiliar sources. Regularly review and tighten your account's privacy settings. Keep your login information secure with a strong, unique password and two-factor authentication. Remember, while scams are becoming increasingly sophisticated, we can outsmart them by staying informed and cautious. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember your security is in your hands.